another creepy video. Today, we're going to be reading another story submitted by a viewer. Now, like as always, I'm not going to use his real name. I'm going to be calling him for the sake of story, Steve. So yeah, let's go with Steve. Um, but, uh, okay. So here we go. The new house is haunted. The first thing I can remember, just two days ago, me and Su me and uh, Kim were cleaning up the house and found the attic door. We went upstairs to see what was up there in the attic. We were looking around and we heard music start playing. It was the creepiest music I have ever heard that I can remember. As I picked up the music box, I placed it on the flat board and it started playing again. But then, we turned and moved away from the music box. It launched itself to the ground and broke. Me and my brother going, going on an easy feeling and headed downstairs from the attic upstairs. The following couple of hours passed and nothing then my brother had to leave and I stayed there at the house. I heard someone calling my name but there was no one there. I saw a shadow person standing in the hallway and it scared the ever-living daylights out of me. I really wish this story was longer but whatever who cares it's good enough. I like stories. But yes, so, <clears throat> let's talk about this. That sounds creepy as hell. Like, severely creepy. Now, sorry about that. Um, but, you know, if I, I understand you can't, when you buy a house, you can't really fucking get another one, but I would just freaking sell that house. And uh, just never look back because what the fuck. Now, most haunted houses are really old because the older you are, you have more people in and you get the, you know, more of a chance of it being haunted. Now, I don't know if this house is old or not, but I do know one thing that is some paranormal shit. That right there sounds like the plot to a, to a movie, but trust me, it's not. Now, <sighs> Sam. Uh, Steve, Kim, if you're watching this, hello. Thank you for the story. Um, as always, I'm not using your real names for privacy reasons. So, obviously, I just gave you nicknames. But, shadow people are well known for being evil. Some of them are nice, but 90% of them are, are dark. I shouldn't have to explain that, but, you know. But, it could also be a demon. Of course, demons can manipulate their body to become black smoke or shadow. Now, what I would recommend y'all doing is not only get a dream catcher in each room, but also hang sage and burn sage, especially in that attic. And as far as the music box, toss that thing in the trash. I know it's a, it's a nice music box probably, but still, we usually just toss it. It ain't worth the trouble. Um, also, if you have a dog skull, and you did not kill it, you take the skull, you clean it, you show it respect, you put a protective sigil on it, and after that, you put some in your DNA, probably your hair or your fingernail, and you put it in its nose, so that way it has an embodiment of you, and you, it can follow you around and protect you. But if you killed it, or you disrespect it, it's not going to help you, and you're screwed. So that's what I recommend y'all doing. Sage tossing the, ma the box out and getting a dog spirit to protect you. I mean, I have one right now over there, which I need to clean up my room. It's a mess, but yeah. So, thank you guys for watching this creepy video. I really appreciate it. Um, I know this wasn't a long one, but it wasn't really a long story, so I kind of had to improvise a little bit. But, yeah, so thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Follow me and everything. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss on any of my videos. And, of course, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. Y'all have been changing my life even though 
my channel's not big yet, but you still changed my life nonetheless. And I really want to thank you guys. So, yeah, like, subscribe, follow me and everything. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on my videos. And I'm going to go. See you next time.